One of my favorite parts of filmmaking is the color grading process. There's just something so rewarding about taking that dull log footage and breathing life into it. And so I figured I would share three of my favorite color grading tools for DaVinci Resolve with you. The first tool is a color calibrator for your computer screen. I think one of these calibrators is probably the best thing that you can buy to improve your color grading. No amount of LUT packs or plugins will help you improve your color grading if the colors that you're actually seeing aren't accurate. I know they can be a bit expensive and it's not the most glamorous piece of tech to buy, but the impact that it has is well worth the price. The one that I have is the Datacolor Spider-X Pro, but there's a long list of good options out there. Now, for the next two tools, we'll have to jump onto the computer. All right, we are in DaVinci Resolve 18.6, and we are gonna go ahead and get started with the second tool. Now, next to this clip, I have the same clip, but totally ungraded. So we're gonna jump over into our color page. And as you can see, I have a couple of blank nodes set up in the nodes area. And this next tool is going to be the color space transform tool. Now this tool is super, super important, really, really helpful. It allows you to transform your color space as the tool says. And I use this to move all of my footage into DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate. So while I'm color grading, I have that extra latitude to push colors, to push exposure as far as possible. We will drop this onto our first node and we're also going to drop one onto our third node. So under the first node, we see we have this input color space, input gamma, output color space, output gamma. We're going to just put in our camera information in the first one. So that's Panasonic V gamut and Panasonic V log here. Now our footage looks to be kind of crazy right now, a little bit underexposed. We're gonna switch it over to the DaVinci wide gamut and intermediate, and we're still looking pretty log-ish. So we'll go over to our third one where we're gonna convert from wide gamut and intermediate into Rec. 709, which is going to be our delivery color space. So we will select Rec. 709 and gamma 2.4 here because that's what we want to deliver in. And now we have our Rec. 709 conversion. Now, as you can see, this footage is a little underexposed, but because we have so much latitude within the DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate color space, we can change that really easily. So let's just bump up the gamma, bump up the gain a little bit. I wanna watch right here though, so I don't push it just past the overexposed mark here, especially right in there but that's looking pretty good. Now we can add a little extra saturation in here if we wanted to, and this would be a totally acceptable image if you're just doing something really quick. Um, I'm gonna leave the saturation off there because with our next tool, we can add some of that extra sauce to our image. So this next tool is going to be a paid plugin it's the Shift OFX by Zachariah. You can buy this one for, I think it's 50 bucks on sale right now. It's well worth the money. It's an incredible plugin. You just drop it onto your node and it populates with color management, color correction, color grading, and then you can change output delivery if you're using like ACES or something like that. Um, but we won't mess with that because we're just using Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. So with color management, if you drop that down, you can see you actually could do your log conversion within here. I'll show that quick 
if we select this, turn off our kind of color space transform there, and we go down to Panasonic Vlog. As you can see, there's a lot of different log flavors on here. There we go, we have our Rec. 709 conversion. It's pretty good. I'm going to keep it on bypass and use the one that we did earlier with our color space transform tools. We can do some color correction here if we need to. We can adjust the gain. The gamma will be our contrast. Temperature, tint, the chromas, gonna add saturation. I found it to be kind of like HSV color space adjacent. I'm gonna leave that off. Here is where we can really start to have some fun with our color grading. Under this color grading tab, we have Shift X, Shift Y, Shift Z, and the burn slider. Now these all will add different amounts of color to your shadows and your highlights. Shift X, we can see on this end, we're getting some green blue to the shadows, but on this end, we're getting sort of a pinkish yellow coming in. And with Shift Y, we're getting sort of this purpley blue in the shadows on one end and yellow green on the other end. And then with Shift Z, we're getting this really nice orangey red on one end and a kind of pale-ish green reminds me of Twilight. So maybe we wanna have that kind of blue-green shadows but then we wanna warm this image up a little bit. And that's where the burn slider comes in handy because we can just push that up a little bit and it adds that warmth back in in a really, really tasteful way. I think that looks really nice actually, but we could play with it some more. Maybe we want kind of this extra bit of blue purple coming from the Y slider there. And we'll pull back the burn and we want a little less of that warmth, a little more cool tones coming through. And now we can see that. And what did that take, like 30 seconds? This tool is super fast and you can make a huge difference if we just on off. Like it's night and day, totally different, but it looks really, really nice. And you can do a lot, get a lot of different creative looks out of this tool really, really quickly. Those are going to be my three tools. The color calibrator for your monitor, which I think is really, really helpful and will allow you to actually know that you're seeing the right colors on your screen. The color space transform tool, which is free in Resolve and is absolutely necessary. It helps you take your log footage and move it into whatever color space you need for your workflow. And then the last one is the Shift OFX plugin. Now, I don't know the guy, I'm not in contact with the guy, but I think the product is really amazing and worth telling people about. So hopefully that helped you out and good luck on your color grading.